Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Will you please welcome our MC for this evening's awards gala, Emmy and Edward R. Morrow, award-winning journalist and a CNN newsroom anchor. Let's please give a warm welcome to Mr. Victor Blackwell. Good evening, good evening, NMSDC. Good evening, NMSDC. All right, glad everybody is here in Atlanta. Welcome to the city. I am very, very happy to be with you tonight for your awards gala. Um, I hope you've had a busy and exciting first full day I hear of your annual conference. You have a lot ahead of you in the next few days, but I hope you have some time to get around to see this beautiful city of Atlanta. I will suggest stopping by Varsity, getting a hot dog while you're here. Find some time to do that. Speaking of enjoyment, how did you enjoy the Phoenix Quartet? Let's give them a hand. All right, let's thank uh, Cigna for its sponsorship of this beautiful evening. It's also a good time to thank once more the generous members of NMSDC who have made this uh, conference possible, the businesses who are the conference co-chairs. Let's start with the corporate co-chairs, AT&T, Coca-Cola, Delta Airlines, and UPS. The MBE, UPS table. All right, okay. We're gonna have to watch them all night. Uh, the MBE co-chairs, Amcus and Ongweowe. I practiced that, did I get it right, Ongweowe? All right, all right. Our Corporate Plus co-chair, VDART. All right, VDART. And the government co-chair, the Minority Business Development Agency. And of course, I would like to give a personal, warm, heartfelt uh, acknowledgement to Warner Media for its gift of billboards throughout the city of Atlanta during the conference. We also have a, a special a guest with us in the audience tonight. Uh, let's take a moment to acknowledge Ambassador Andrew Young. <laughs> An Atlanta treasure global icon. Now, will you please welcome the chair of the board of directors of NMSDC, Dr. Frida Lewis Hall. Good evening. Oh, thank you. Let's do that again. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. I just want to welcome everyone. I want to also thank everyone. Those of you that are old friends, those of you that I've just met, and those of you that um, I will have the honor and privilege to meet soon and to serve with here at the NMSDC. I want to tell you how excited I am to be the board chair. And I want to share with you something I shared earlier today to a small group and was encouraged to share with you, which is essentially a vision for NMSDC, short version. When I was born, my father and mother brought my uncle, who was paralyzed at the hands of a polio infection when he was six, to come and live with us so that he could take care of me and my mother could go back to work and so that we could take care of him. Now, that was a bit ago, I'll admit, and it was pre all of the access work. There wasn't a lot of handicap access, special tools, opportunities. There were many barriers and many, many challenges. But our family was dedicated to the care of my uncle and to mainstreaming him Lewis style. And so we did a lot of work together and my uncle also fashioned ways to overcome the barriers he had. A set of controls so that he could drive a car. A special sewing machine foot so that he could pursue his work as a tailor. And when my uncle died at the age of 76 with many, many accomplishments, on his headstone we put his favorite saying, 
which is when things seem out of reach, move closer. When I accepted this incredible opportunity and privilege to be the board chair, I realized that there were still many, many challenges in the space that we worked in. There was a lot of diversity of need, of ideas, of positions, and what I've discovered in just a short time with you is that you practice what my uncle preached, that all of those things that may seem out of reach today, we are moving closer to. So again, I want to thank you. I'd like to encourage all of you all to join tomorrow to um, create new networks and to um, work with each other and begin that align alignment and to begin to do some of the reach that we all want. Thank you, have a wonderful e evening, and thank you to all of you have, who have made contributions that will be acknowledged tonight. All right, we are close to presenting the awards for the evening, but before we start, I'd like to ask the winners to keep the remarks to two minutes. All right, we've got a countdown clock over here, right here on the side of the podium. It's just like the Oscars. There's going to be music that's going to start to play so we can keep the evening going. Now, let's play a bit of the music so you can hear it. That's a request. Please wrap it up. At about 2.15, we'll start playing DMX. That's a different request. Listen, we know everybody is going to be excited. You're going to want to thank everybody, but please uh, help us out by trying to stay brief. OK? All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. I was impressed by that when I saw this. Did y'all not feel that? At the smoke machine? All right. The first of our awards for the evening is the Council of the Year. To present this award, please welcome the Diversity Solutions Leader at Aon, who is also the chair of the Affiliate Board Chairs Committee and a member of the Board of Directors of NMSDC, Mr. Shelley Brown. Good evening. I'm honored to be here today to announce the winner of the Council of the Year for 2019. This award recognizes an exemplary affiliate council demonstrating the programs, activities, and accomplishments that establish it as a model of organization, operation, and success. Each affiliate council reviewed for image, accomplishments, activities and leadership over the previous calendar year. The winner of the 2019 award is, I got an envelope, hold on just a second. Council of the Year, Western Regional Minority Supplier Development Council, Mr. Cecil Plummer, President. Cecil accepts this award, let's watch a brief video about the Western Region Minority Supplier Development Council and its accomplishments. WRMSDC's accomplishments of 2018, I think there were several that were noteworthy. First is our outreach to mainstream media. Both the San Francisco Business Times and our local CBS affiliate partnered with us to bring supplier diversity specific content to the masses. In fact, for the first time in its history, the San Francisco Business Times printed the top companies for supplier diversity. We really like to see that happen. The next accomplishment is our Business Growth Accelerator Program. We graduated our second cohort in 2018, and that's really what our work is, is growing MBE businesses, and we know for a fact that many graduates are now doing business with sponsoring corporations. 
The way we measure that is the revenue. We know that. And in 2018, we had 41 MBEs move up a class in revenue. Now that's really exciting and that really gets our blood pumping. How do we do that? Another landmark is that we had 20 new corporations join with our council this year in sponsoring events and meeting our MBEs. Of those 20, eight became members and of those eight, six, this is really exciting, six were starting supplier diversity initiatives for the first time in the history of their organizations. How's that for a number? Now, what does that all mean? Well, in 2017, we had collective MBE revenues of $13.1 billion. In 2018, collective MBE revenues were $15.3 billion. And our MBE net growth was only 10 for that year. That means basically the same number of MBEs experienced a growth of $2.2 billion in revenue. And we think those are things worth celebrating. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, to accept the award on behalf of the Western Region Minority Supplier Development Council, uh, Cecil Plummer and his team. Give them a hand, please. I can't see anything anymore, so I have to use these. Uh, thank you, NMSDC. Thank you, Shelley. Receiving this award is both humbling and unexpected. All of the regional councils work very hard, and this honor could have easily gone to any of them. I feel very blessed to be counted in such excellent company. I want to give my thanks to NMSDC. I thank my God. I feel so blessed for my staff. My staff is the greatest staff. I feel so blessed for them, yes. I feel blessed by the support of our board and the support of all of our corporates and our MBEs for their patience and trust as we transformed our council over the last few years. Supplier inclusion and belonging is the best opportunity in this country to resolve historical disparities. NMSDC is uniquely positioned better than any other organization in the country to facilitate the necessary changes. I urge our corporations, we thank you for your support, and I urge your continued steadfast support of NMSDC. Please continue to make room in your uh, supply chains for MBEs. I urge MBEs to continue to invest in themselves through the programming that NMSDC offers. Just like corporations outperform the S&P 500 through learning and development, so can you outperform your competition. I urge you all to support your councils and their staff. They work tirelessly to create wealth for others, and they need the right tools, and they should have the ability to retire with dignity for a lifetime of serving others. Finally, there are a few times in life where there's a real win-win for corporations and for the communities. There's too much at stake to let supplier diversity die now. We gotta keep it going. Future generations are at stake, future talent pools for employees, innovation, diversity, and diversity of thought are clear pathways to profitability. Oh, I'm getting the hook. Thank you so much for this honor. We'll see you tomorrow at the show. of the Supplier of the Year Award. Let's hear about what the award honors. The Supplier of the Year Award recognizes Asian, Black, Hispanic, and Native American business enterprises for their business growth and development, operational success, support of other minority businesses, and active participation in the community. 
The honorees are divided into four categories based on annual sales. Class one is for firms with less than one million in sales. Class two is for firms with one million to 10 million in sales. Class three is for firms with 10 million to 50 million in sales. And class four is for firms with more than 50 million in sales. One company from each class is named National Supplier of the Year. Presenting the Supplier of the Year awards in all four categories tonight, let's please welcome Anthony Abate, the Chief Procurement Officer for, C for Cigna, and Heather Herndon Wright, the Director of Supplier Diversity for Vistra Energy. Heather Herndon White will present the awards for both class one and class two. So let's begin. In class one, zero to one million in revenue, here are the nominees. Olin Associates of Silver Springs, Maryland. PTICW Incorporated of McDonough, Georgia. Applied Research West of Orange, California, and Aguilar Productions of West St. Paul, Minnesota. Heather? And the winner is, you guys need a drum roll or something. Supplier of the year for class one is Applied Research. Congratulations. I promise to keep this short and sweet, but most of all, I, I'm so overwhelmed, so grateful, so appreciative, and so uh, speechless almost uh, uh, at this uh, immense honor that uh, the NMSDC has bestowed upon our company and, and me. Um, so I just want to give a special shout out because none of these accomplishments are ever done alone. They, um, the, there are so many people that have paved the way, and in my case, I want to give a shout out to the SEMSDC and American Honda. SEMSDC was the biggest supporter of our company all along these many years, and American Honda was our first client, and we never ever forget our, our first of anything. So thank you. I really, really appreciate this, and I hope that I can meet the expectations of all of those who have supported me along this journey. Thanks. In class two, one million to five million in revenue. Here are the nominees. SRB Communications of Washington, D.C. Christine Fallon Associates of Chicago, Illinois. The Crowther Group of Dallas, Texas. And Weems Design Studio of Swanee, Georgia. Heather. And the winner is for class two, SRB Communications. Congratulations.
Wow, that's all I can say. Um, this is certainly a big honor for me. I am so thankful to the NMSDC for this honor, my regional council, the Capital Region Council for, yes, there they are, um, as well as Pepco Holdings, who nominated us uh, for the regional council. But I will be eternally grateful for this honor and to God be the glory for this honor because he continues to do great things in our lives at SRB Communications. I have to say that I am who I am today and the business is who it is today because of my mother uh, who is in heaven because she taught me the values of entrepreneurship uh, and work ethic and that was so important to us. Supplier diversity is so important as we move into 2020. Keep the faith, be vigilant, be vigilant and be intentional. Thank you all for this superb honor this evening. Presenting the awards for class three and class four is Anthony Abate. In class three, five to 10 million in revenue, here are the nominees. Pro Cutters Lawnscapes of Conyers, Georgia. Acor of Piscataway, New Jersey. Alisto Engineering Group of Walnut Creek, California and Solutions for Energy Efficient Logistics, also known as SEAL, of Detroit, Michigan. Anthony. And the winner is, for class three, SEAL. Congratulations. Wow, you guys look lovely this evening. On behalf of our president, Louis E. James, and the entire SEAL team, thank you guys so much for this honor. 10 years ago, when DTE Energy took the chance on SEAL LLC because they had a true diversity program, this is how we were formed. So we'd like to thank our partner, DTE Energy, who allowed us this great opportunity to get into the energy efficiency space. As one of the largest MBEs in this space, we appreciate our growth, our development, and our team. We are born and raised and bred in the city of Detroit, but we're excited, yes, thank you, Motor City. But we are excited about this decennium moment. So as we celebrate 10 years, we'd like to say thank you to the NMSDC for this opportunity from the entire SEAL team. Have a great evening.
50 million and above in revenue, here are the nominees. Lexon Gate of Urbana, Illinois. Blue Springs Metals of Blue Springs, Mississippi. Bravo Group of Bridgewater, New Jersey and Rose International of Chesterfield, Missouri. And the winner is Rose International. Congratulations. What an amazing honor. This truly is a very special award for our team today. NMSDC has been such an impactful organization in our journey through many, many years. I have learned the true value of diversity and respect for not only what it brings to enrich an organization such as Rose International, but also the positive impact it has on our communities and job creation. This NMSDC network is truly incredible. I remember when I first started coming to this conference 20 years ago, more than that, and I met Harriet today, so those were the times. But we had a few handful of companies, MBEs, that were the largest in the network, they were all around 30 million in revenue. And today, so many of us are surpassing and approaching the billion dollar mark. From my childhood in India, being one of five children, my parents were putting so much into our education and upbringing. They would buy me a school uniform, two sizes too big and I would end up wearing it until it was two sizes too small. And my shoes routinely had gaping holes in them, but the wonderful education opened my mind to a world of possibilities. So thank you, NMSDC. Thank you, WRMSDC, as well as Richard Chacon for nominating us. Thank you. Congratulations to all of the winners for all of your hard work. Okay, it's almost time for dinner now. Uh, and we'd like to first honor the 10 new members of Corporate Plus. Now, you know this, I'm just learning it. Corporate Plus is an elite national designation among NMSDC's certified MBEs, recognizing them for their proven nationwide capabilities bring them to the attention of more national corporate members and expand their participation in the NMSDC network. I just learned all that today. They are Forma Automotive, Amcus, SoftPath System, TKT Connect, Neta Scientific, Pinnacle Group, Mohammed Sales and Warehousing. Technosure Packaging Group. Diversified Chemical Technologies. Thompson Hospitality Services. Big Thompson delegation. All right, we will enjoy our dinner now and we'll continue with our program a little later. Enjoy. <laughs> 